<laughs> All right, you guys, day two of our Montenegro road trip. We were just staying in the Kamovi Mountains. One thing to note that I didn't say yesterday is that the roads to get up there are very, very sketchy. They're dirt with a bunch of rocks, very uneven. So you've seen our little blueberry car that we have, and I think it would be way better if you had a bigger car or a 4x4 car than this little tiny car to get up there. So next we're going to this national park. I think it's pronounced Perlechki National Park. It's only an hour and a half drive from here, so let's get on the road. to our guest house here in this national park again I put it on the screen it is absolutely gorgeous and the roads were so much better than Kamobi like paved roads not crazy our car was completely fine so it's really nice really not stressful and I'll give you guys a tour when we actually are able to check in but for now look at the view around our area all green mountains those are the cabins we're going to be staying in. Here's like the check-in. And right above us. Incredible. So we're going to just put on our clothes, go on a hike, and then we'll come back in and check in and I'll give you a little tour of our little cabin. And my heart is confused before because I thought that from the guest house I booked we could just start hiking but it turns out we actually booked a place in the wrong valley so we were in this valley and we actually had to drive 15 minutes to Grabahi Valley I think that's how you say it so now we're here you have to pay one euro to enter and this is technically in the national park this valley so right from where you pay to enter the national park go up the road about one more minute and there's a little parking area and then right behind me I don't know if you can see Nick standing right there with the yellow sign. This is where all the hikes start. So we're gonna be doing the fest, I don't know how to say it, I'm gonna put it on here. We're gonna do this hike. Hopefully everyone says it takes around five hours and you could keep going if you want to to different peaks. So we're just gonna play it by ear and see how it goes. We're gonna be going up to those amazing mountains. So let's go. signs that you're supposed to follow when you're going on the hikes here and we cannot find there's nothing that says Volochnitsha which is the hike that we want to do that I read a blog about that everyone says we should do when we're here nowhere no signs at all we we didn't see any signs at the beginning but we figured if we just started walking this way we would see some but we still don't um, it's kind of the same as the Kamovi mountains yesterday like the trails aren't really well marked there's just like random signs every once in a while don't really know where you're going so we're just gonna follow one of the hikes that's on here and just go with it. Lodusa, Lodusha, this way. That's where we're gonna go. Let's do it, Lodusa, onward. <laughs> so, change of plans again. We tried following that trail and there's no trail, it just ends at a rock. Um, and then now we came back to the sign and we're trying to do this trail. And again, there's no trails. So I think this is a fairly new national park. It's not as visited, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it's just so crazy because in the United States, like I'm thinking of the national parks back home and like every trail is so clearly marked. Like at the beginning of the trail, it's like, hey, this is the Emerald Trail hike. It's three miles, blah, 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 blah. It like is super explicit. And then you can see like the trail, maybe even with rocks lining it. Um, this is what it looks like when it tells us to go on this trail. Tell me if you see a trail in the comments below because I don't see one. <laughs> um, it just goes like this and that. And so I thought maybe these rocks lead to something, but then you just kind of turn and it's not really anything either. It's just 
the same wilderness that's all around us. So, I really don't know. All right, so we've been here for about an hour and a half and we've just been walking around trying to find trails to go on and we really couldn't find anything so we're gonna pack up and leave it's starting to drizzle a little bit anyways so oh well we weren't able to go on a hike but we still were able to see amazing views so I'm totally fine with that now we'll drive back to the guest house about 15 minutes and I'll give you a tour of our cabin and the surrounding area hey guys so we just got back to our cabin got showered feeling fresh and nice so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit tour it's really small so there's not really much to see but just so you guys can see where we're staying it's $30 30 US dollars per night I believe I'll put it on the screen the exact amount once I check booking.com um, but we have our own bathroom our own little cabin and right down there all the way at the end of the cabins there's a little restaurant and stuff like that so let's take a look at the cabin and the surrounding area so you can see there's a bunch of different cabins here all behind gorgeous mountains and in front as well little hill and a little blueberry here so cute all right let's go inside we're here at the end the very last one in the morning we have free breakfast so they'll pull those out here and we'll have free breakfast outside here's Nick <laughs> we have a double bed and then a twin bed. It's pretty simple, pretty standard, nice rug, a little wardrobe here. Obviously we have taken over this twin bed. And then our own private bathroom, which is really nice to have because the last cabin we didn't. So just a toilet, a shower, and that. Overall it's really nice, we're really happy with it for the price. And again, like I said, it includes breakfast. So see you guys tomorrow for day three.